Yo, yo, this is Cal Donay, and I'm the new mascot for Yo Bay Recordings. And welcome to our new virtual studio. Yo Bay Recordings is a one stop shop for up and coming artists to show their stuff from hip hop to human door stops, from elephants and cast to those big old lustrous, you know what I mean. We've got it all. Before we get into this week's featured artist, let's check in with our roving reporter in the field, Mama Doné. Hello, Calvin, baby. This is your mama, reporting from Cal Naples. Mom, I told you not to call me that on the air. Now, don't you show yourself now that you got that new job and all. <laughs> okay, how's the weather there in Cal Naples? Cal, <clears throat> I mean Cal Doné, Everything here is fine. The weather is good. Everything here is kosher. Almost everything. Ooh, I'll check in with you later. Bye, Doné. Back to you. Next, I'd like to introduce our new artist of the week. <laughs> These people are funny. <laughs> they have a new comedy soap called Scandalous. Roll the clip. Deception, breakup, desire, smooth, love, lying, oblivious, deception, heartbreak, mysterious, betrayal, drama, adultery, sex, blackmail, wow, scandalous. I don't know about y'all, but I come from one of them small towns, nowhere USA, where everyone and everyone else is business. I'm outside the local laundromat here, where hens are known for cackling and ruffling feathers. I see Doreen and Asia over here. I wonder what them two hens is cackling about. Asia, Asia, I thought I'd find you here washing clothes. Hey girl, what's up? How you doing? Doreen. I got something to tell you. What? It's about our buddy Lisa. Every night around 10 o'clock, I see her run into her apartment building with some dude. And I can never see who he is. Really? And if it was just a little more light, I would have really seen something. But you know, it's just two things that have been disturbing me, girl. One, I was checking out the way he runs. And it just seems so familiar to me. And number two, he always has something over his stupid head, like he's hiding something. I wonder if he's playing her. Stop meddling, Asia. With all the chaos you caused with Lisa and her ex-boyfriend, Larry, mm -hmm. I think you mind your business by now. Doreen, stop looking at that. It's a fish fry. Oh, whatever. What did I do to break up Lisa and Larry? Number one, you had to complain to anyone that would listen that Larry wasn't your average Denzel Washington. I mean, you acted as though he wasn't good enough. Huzzy! Flannel were. Anyway, as you were saying. I mean, you acted as though that, that Larry had to be some kind of god or something. I mean, Lisa liked them and they were getting along. I'm surprised your friendship survived. Lisa's like a little sister to me. And I just wanted the best for her. Doreen, you got lucky the first time around. Besides, everybody's not like you. And unlike Lisa, I tries not to keep my man a secret. Hm. Oh, no. What about your all that key? Let's see. I seem to recall about a year ago. If I hadn't wandered into Rollo's Chitlins and Chicken, I would never known you were seeing anybody. Never thought I'd find a man like Keith. He's cute, affectionate, always thinking of me, girl, and runs my bath and curls my toes in bed so bad. I thought I'd need a crowbar just to unjam those toes. Get it? Ow! Well, you made that Ow! uncomfortably clear. Had to be said, you know. You know, some things are better left unsaid. Whatever. Oh. Are there wedding bells ahead? Mm, he's entertaining the thought, but I just don't know why. I just feel like the other shoe's going to drop, even though things are perfect between us, girl. Asia, don't go being a pessimist. You do this all oh, no, God. Well, 
He says he has to be at home by 9.30 every night. He says mother's ill and he wants to make sure she's taking her medication on time. Do you believe that? Uh, I, I don't know. She does have a nurse. That's what I'm talking about. He's got a nurse for her. But he said he just wants to make sure his mother's not giving the nurse a hard time. Do you believe that? Asia, I just think you're overreacting. Girl, go ahead and jump to Bruce and be two old married ladies. I don't think 32 is old. So you can call yourself 32 and old, but I still got it going on. You get it? Got it. <laughs> anyway, uh, are you okay? Are mm. you all right? Mm. I feel sick to my stomach. Uh-oh. Mm. You don't think. Think what? We do try to be careful, and I do take uh-oh, birth control pill, but one night, while he was rocking my biscuits, I didn't forget to take one. Well, I would say a doctor's visit is in order. For all my white brothers out there, do you feel a little blackness coming on? A little jungle fever in your lever? Well, put on some hot sauce, and you're sure to win the black chicks over. But a word of caution before you make sure the black chick you scout out don't have a man, because if you do, he just might beat the breath out of you. Hot sauce cologne. It's Rib sticking and finger licking. Be sure to check back for news and updates. These people are going far. Until next time, keep your head up and your money flapping. I'm Cal Dune from Your Base Central. I'm out.